Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Horsham.tv. Here's what's coming up this week. So for those of you who are interested in a new version of a party or a different way to keep the children entertained, we have found out about the Brick Bus. We went along to find out a little bit more. So I'm here, I've swapped the studio for a bus, which we'll explain a little bit more in a minute. And I'm with Steve Goodwin. Hello, Steve. Hello. Hello. Um, thanks for welcoming me on the bus. That's this okay. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's exciting, isn't it, going on a bus? It is exciting. You know, I think it's the first time I've been on a bus in over a year, yeah. actually. So it genuinely does feel quite exciting. So, Steve, why are we sat on a bus? And why? explain, explain yourself with your Lego paraphernalia as well. So, um, yeah, I'm a children's entertainer. Um, I run Lego parties and Lego workshops, um, school workshops, Lego clubs, after school clubs. Um, around Horsham and beyond um, and obviously since Covid hit that's all dried Gone. up yeah um, and so yeah so so we're here on a bus because um, while while having a lot of uh, lot of spare time on our hands we um, we sort of started having ideas yeah um, and a mobile workshop was always something that we'd sort of thought of but it was never a possibility we we're too busy you yeah. know was anything that, that could actually happen um, and then while we while we had so much time, we started thinking, you know, is this something that we could do? Because we were sort of inspired by all the the sort of charitable well, ch charitable all the charitable work that was going on yeah. um, uh, during COVID. So we thought, what can we do that would help us bounce back, but also uh, help uh, charities and give something back to the community and just be something really awesome okay. to sort of come back as soon as we're allowed to. And Brick Bus was born. And Brick Bus was born, yeah. And so how will what how will it work? Is this how it's going to be finished? So, oh no. No, so, it's a bit more um, to plan, Yeah, there? just over here, there's <laughs> going to be a, a massive two metre table that's going to seat uh, four or five children on one side, four or five children on the other side. Excellent. And there'll be a little table right here. Um, so it'll take 10 to 12 children. So is um, that for parties? You could park up outside someone's house and do a yeah, party in your bus? Absolutely. <gasps> and then they don't have to yeah. be in your house? Oh yes. This is a dream, yes. I like this a lot. Um, yeah, because quite often I'm asked to do parties in houses and yeah. it's difficult because you can never, you know, not always seat enough children around. Yeah. You know, Not everyone's got a large table. Um, so it's for parties, I can do my workshops on here, um, I can attend events. Um, oh, so you're going to turn so, up at places as well with your yes, class? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, and during Covid I ran a uh, charity workshop for Horsham Matters, we raised £300 for the food bank. Well done. Um, but getting a hall at that time was difficult, um, just fitting it in around what they've got going on and some halls weren't opening. Sure. So, you know, just having my own venue is allows me to be so much more flexible such a good idea um, and there's no cost no I can, you've got it so now. i can just run charity events anytime um yeah yeah and the possibilities just kept coming to us and we've just had way too many ideas it's brilliant it's fantastic so you're going to get your flooring down you've got to get your electrics in you've got your bits and bobs yeah um, flooring's going down next week because we've uh, yeah we've already raised enough funds for that so that's brilliant i was gonna say so but this all comes at a cost doesn't it, it so does you are raising funds for it yes. how if somebody was interested in helping you out how, how would they go about that? So uh, we have an Indiegogo fundraising page, which hopefully will appear at the bottom of the it screen, or at the top of the screen like this. Um, and yeah, every donation counts. That's the whole idea of crowdfunding is that if people just give, you know, two pounds, it can, and that all, that all can add up. Yeah. There's loads of really cool perks on there. So you can get little Lego things like my little Lego bus we've got there, a little version of the bus. Oh, I see. So you put a donation in, but you're actually going to get something yeah, back for you, it. You can get oh, little Lego cool. gifts or, or we're also putting parties on there so you can actually, you know, buy a party now wow. and be one of the first people to have a party on the bus. Oh, hang on a minute. I know a boy whose birthday is <laughs> at the end of June who is adoring of the bricks, which oh, we won't name the name, but that's okay. That's very handy to know as well. Fantastic. Yeah. And, so, and so you've got big plans for the Lego. For so the Lego many bus. ideas. Yeah, we're going to have a big table. We're going to have seating. Um, there's going to be Lego mosaic over the entire ceiling. Um, we're going to have blinds that are going to be decorated <laughs> with minifigures and everything. Is this all um, stored in your house at the moment? Is this all finally going to come out? Yes, this, yeah, my wife is very happy that <laughs> a lot of it's going to come out and come into here. Um, so yeah, it, it, what, what we want is it to be an experience just to be on the bus yeah. for Lego fans. You know, when they walk on um, and they, it's just an amazing, uh, creative and sort of really exciting space to be in. 
It's such a phenomenally cool idea. I love it. I love it so much. And I can see the potential, even though we're sat in a slightly stripped out bus at the moment. I mean, frankly, it was an exciting change from the studio. So thank you very much for that. But best of luck. So how many days left until your campaign? You've got to... Um, we've got something like 40 something days right, left Right, okay. At the moment. So you've got to get on there. Um, get plenty donated. of time. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much, Steve. No really problem. appreciate it. Thank you. So the shops are open now, which is fantastic, means I get to buy some new bits and pieces, it's very exciting. But I also, I had a childhood dream once, I once dreamt that I could dress a mannequin in a shop. And I kid you not, a shop actually got back and said that I was allowed to do it for them. So thank you Apache in advance for allowing me to go and mess up your shop. I hope it wasn't too bad. I had a fantastic time though, and uh, here's what happened. So I'm with my new friend. He's uh, he's not quite fully dressed, but in a minute I'm going to do work some magic, and uh, I've dressed your window, haven't I? You have indeed. <laughs> Absolutely, I've done the dressing. I did all the dressing of the window, and it looks fantastic. Um, I'm with Stuart from Apache uh, Apache Menswear. Yes, yep, correct. In Horsham, and he's very gracefully uh, let us in the shop in a very busy day, actually. Yes, indeed. Yes, <laughs> we've, uh, yeah, we've been very busy since we returned. A lot of people, thank God. Our first customer yesterday actually said, I was walking down over there by Kentucky and I looked up and I looked over, he said, and your grills were up and I thought, there is a God after all, oh. he said, and he came in and spent, he said, I haven't been here for about seven or eight months and there that's, you go, so we have customers just like him. See, I was going to say, I am so excited to be in a shop, even though it's a menswear shop, actually, it's <laughs> some really cool stuff in here. But there's this palpable excitement now. We're allowed out. We can go and buy stuff. You get to see people in real life. Yeah. What's the most exciting part of owning your shop at the moment? <laughs> Talking to human beings, exactly <laughs> that. Yes, yeah, so instead of being for, for about four months in here every day, packing up orders on our online business, yeah. which has been fantastic. But... There's nothing like speaking to human beings, you know, yeah. talking to people rather than a, a machine all the time. But you tell me about them. Tell me about your website. Well, actually, tell me about your business first. So you've been in Horsham for how long? We opened here in 1993. Um, we've been through a series of massive changes, none more so than when we started going online about 10 or 12 years ago. Yeah. We, we felt it was definitely moving that way. Yeah. How right we were. Well, I was going to say, you're lucky to Christ, go there. Nice, yeah. Um, amazing. So... Um, We've invested a lot of money into our online platform and making it, and it's worked so well. We're so pleased with the results. It's a bespoke website. Yeah. And we're selling all over the world. Oh, amazingly. you're saying you're packing up for Australia, mm -hmm. the States. We sold to a place in in um, in the Indian Ocean called uh, Reunion. Oh wow! I've never heard of Reunion. No, so heard the that. power of the internet. That's amazing, isn't yeah, it? A little little island in the, near the Seychelles, Reunion, French speaking. So yes, amazing. we sell anywhere. But so I want to ask you, what would you describe as the 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 taste of the shop? What's your, what's your style? Uh, well, we're mo we're moddy, sixty, sharp, smart, casual wear. And all, and all the things that quite a few younger people are really into as well. Yeah, There's we quite sell, a few people that are into stuff. We do sell to lads and dads. Yeah. Lots of brands are left. Fred Perry is a lads and dads brand. Yeah. You know, you you, get, you you don't get all the youngsters buying that, but there's a lot of fashionistas that like it, the yeah. old Fred heads. We sell Lyle and Scott. We've sold that for many, many years. Yeah. Diesel for many, many years. Trojan, Scar and Soul, Gabici, Ticini, all good brands up to the minute, spot on. And you were saying to me before we went on that um, you have people coming down specifically for your shop, don't you? We people do. travel down from places like you were saying, Peterborough, they come down. We've got a couple of customers from Peterborough, we've got customers from the Midlands, we've got customers from Wales, we've got customers from Portsmouth, we've got lots of customers that come up from Brighton, believe it or not. Well, which is Amazing. Quite, yeah, that's very cool. Lots from Brighton, thankfully. And uh, yeah, they, they'll travel if they want something and they like the shop and they like the products. Yeah. They like the brands you sell. Oh, well, I, I love it. I'm, mm. I'm, I just feel like I need more of the hats, but actually. There's lots of hats in Before it. Christmas, we really felt the message that had got through was shop local, yeah. shop independent, pay a little bit more money and get a better service, better products. And that's what we, we really noticed it at Christmas. Oh, that's good. Which tonight. was the last time we were trading, I'd hasten to add. We've <laughs> only been here two days and I've forgotten what that was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for fitting us in. I really very, appreciate very it. Welcome, no, Good pleasure. luck with being even more busy and getting well, even more parcels out of that door. We're incredibly positive about the future. We have to be. We can't be any other way. We will be positive. We will continue doing exactly what we've been doing for the last 28 years. And 
Let's give good service. Well, that's a good shop to hear. British, shop local, shop independent. I love that. And on that note, I'm just going to nip off and carry on with my day job of, of dressing a window. Shall thank I you very much. That? Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs>